Hello everyone, I'm Meg Coker, Dr. Morfield Lang's graduate assistant, and this is Tech 15. Today we're looking at History Pen, which has the tagline of a global community collaborating around history. We're here at the homepage, which has the URL of historypen.org. Today we're just going to give a brief introduction showing how to use it and access it. Uh, there are materials that will also show you that guide you if you want to contribute to History Pen, but since there already is materials showing that, we're not going to go too deeply into that. So here at the homepage, we can see the pin of the day and has some great statistics about how many materials that have been contributed by how many users and institutions. If you scroll down a little bit, some of the highlighted collections. Now you can see up here at the top, you can look at the pins by map. So if you zoom in a bit closer, you'll be able to see more. And you can also search by place, which we'll do a couple times here. You can search by landmark. And whenever you want to look at the specific items, you just click on the little thumbnails there and you can see all the different images contributed. If you click on the item, you can look at it up close, which we'll do in a moment. But first, a couple more examples. You can look just by a specific town. And if you do just one thing and needs clarification, it will go ahead and ask you instead of taking you to the wrong one. And it's a setting that to show the thumbnail. So if you don't want that, you can just unclick and it'll show the numbers. You can further narrow it down by date, which is a pretty good range there, as you can see, by subject or just by maneuvering around in the landscape, zooming in a bit, and click on an item, and this is what it looks like when you open up. It shows who pinned it, details of a title, location, date, taglines. So if you had searched by subject and you had typed in Blitz, you, this probably would have come up. You can also look at comments and suggestions, which is another great way to share stories, comment, and otherwise interact with the materials. You can also favorite, report, see it on the map, see bigger, share it. There's a lot of great opportunities. Uh, now we're going to look at projects. So you can see quite a variety of different things to look into. There's also profiles, so you can see what's been contributed by specific people or institutions, such as the Library of Virginia. So they've got their own profile details, profile views, pins, tours, collections. We'll look at tours in just a moment. Here's a list of the items that they've pinned. You can also look at their map, their activity feed, tours, and collections. So let's look at tours and collections just generally. There's items showing more of what collections and tours are, as well as featured items. They're typically by a single institution or profile. Tours are a really interesting thing. We're going to click on one and look at it. It has a number of items that are in a specific order. We're going to look at it in tour view. Here we are, and it shows a modern day counterpart and a historical item that are in a sort of walking tour. So there's also Get Involved, which shows how schools, local projects, libraries, archives, and museums can get involved, as well as latest news, some challenges, and different ways that you can personally get involved as well. The blog also shows updates on particular updates on particular projects and other facets of the history pin site. That's another way you can look through specific categories, including how-to guides. To contribute your own material, you can go to join, log in. When you go to pin, you can sign in to history pin with quite a few options, including Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or your email. You create an account if you don't already have one, and it looks like a pretty simple process to go ahead and upload whatever items you have. Also worth noting is that at the bottom of each page, there's the about, frequently asked questions, other how-to guides, and a variety of other materials that are here to help you. Well, I hope this has been a helpful experience introducing you to History Pen. This has been Tech 15. Thanks for watching.